A Sudanese bloke was working in one of the companies after he was actually immigrated to America. He was working really hard. Couldn't even get a chance to have a day off. Was sick and tired of working. Thinking of what to get us a chance to have a day off, but no way. Might the supervisors, the managers, so aggressive. They don't even talk to anybody. If you have a day, want to have a day off, you have to have a real excuse. A very accepted excuse to have a day off for. But if not, might no way for you. Alright? And as you know that there is no Centrelink in America, no people getting paid from government, and no shit. You're going to have to work for yourself so you can rent a house and survive. Otherwise, you will end up homeless in the road. Okay? Alright, this black, he was like, okay, am I going to think about something? He went to the manager, act, act very, you know, sadly, you know, very sad. What happened? The manager was like, hey, come on, good on. Yeah, I'm fine. What happened to you? My brother, please, you know, I got some little problem. My father, uh, my father died in, uh, in, in Sudan. So I want to go to, 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 to do my, uh, to see my father there. So maybe I will come back maybe later, after two weeks or something like that, my friend. Because, uh, you know, this is my father. The manager was like, okay, well, I'm sorry about what happened to your dad. You can take two weeks off, mate. Go and have, go and, you know, stay with your family over there. And we're really sorry about what happened to you. But please come back after two weeks. All right, no worries. The guy went to Sudan. Have fun with friends and shit like that, you know. No one dies. Ah, it was bullshit. He came back again. Spent another three months working really hard. I was tired of working. Again, went to the manager. Tell him the same thing. Well, you know, my father died uh, in Sudan. I want to go to, uh, to, to do the, the, the funeral service. Maybe I will be coming back within the next two weeks. Uh, I am really sorry about that. The manager told him, all right, no worries, mate. I'm really sorry about what happened to your father. So I wish you good luck, mate. Go and spend two weeks with your family and come back after two weeks. Took another two weeks. Fucking bang, gone, mate. I spent two weeks with his family and have fun and shit like that and come back again. I spent another four or five months, the same shit again. Went to the manager, my father died. Hmm? My father died? Yeah, my father died in Sudan and I want to go to the funeral. Okay, cool. Two weeks again. The bloke took two weeks again. He went back to Africa. He spent another two weeks with his family and then come back. And at this time, was no way for him to lie again because he lost everything. There is nothing else he can say to the manager. He sat down there and think about who, who is he going to kill again uh, from the family. Ah, oh, fucking brother, sister, mother, you know. Ah, oh, okay, mum. Bro, the black one there, meet up with the manager, tell him, mate, you know, my mother died. Okay, all right, mate, take two weeks again. He went back to Sudan for another two weeks because his mom died, and he spent two weeks down there. When he came back again, he spent another five months, and he went back again to the manager to lie to him by the same problem, that his mom died. Here... The manager says to him, listen, brother, <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. You can have five fathers, you can have six, you can have as much as you can, but the mother, she has to be one. You can't have three or five mothers. You can't come from five, six womb. Are you crazy?